Hi, my name is Dave Johansson and I'm here at Blossom Hill Crafts. Uh, a few weeks ago I did a free workshop on uh, nesting bowls and this uh, video is going to share the content of that workshop. I'd like to talk about bowls uh, in general uh, in the beginning here. Here's a bowl that I made. In fact, all three of these bowls uh, that I have here nest together. A couple things about a bowl. One, um, usually nesting bowls are very functional bowls. Um, so you want them uh, fairly wide at the bottom so that they're not tippy. Um, they need to have a, a nice good base. Uh, the next thing is that they need to have a fairly thick rim. Um, uh, if your bowl ends up having a really thin rim, it's going to get chipped right away in the dishwasher while someone's washing it, bringing it in and out of the cupboard, and, and that's absolutely no good at all. Um, a bowl obviously begins with the foot and then ends with the rim, right? So you really want to pay attention to the foot. The foot presents the pot, and the rim gives the pot an ending. So if you pay attention to the foot and you pay attention to the rim, what's in here will take care of itself. All right? So um, as I'm making these bowls today uh, for nesting bowls, I'm going to start with the largest bowl. Then I'm going to make the next size bowl, and I'm going to go down to the smallest bowl. So uh, in making these bowls, I started off with about five pounds of clay, about four pounds of clay, and then just a little over two pounds of clay. So the smaller they get, really the less clay you need in proportion. Uh, that's something you're going to have to play around with because everyone throws a little bit differently, but in general, um, that works for me. Um, I want to talk about a tool that I'm using real quick. This is something I made. I'm real big on gauges. I don't like rulers. Um, I find them real cumbersome when I'm throwing, they get clay on them and I can't read them and I make mistakes. So I just made this out of a piece of Tupperware. The top of this is two inches and you're going to see why I use this gauge when I'm throwing. The top of this is two inches, the other side is one inch and in the middle we're talking about a half an inch. So two inches, one inch and a half inch and you'll see how I'm using that. And I'll also be using uh, this which is called the lid master. It's just a measuring gauge. These are uh, very easy to get. Clay Planet is a great resource uh, for these. Um, so uh, I've thrown the first bowl here. This is a five pound mixing bowl. <clears throat> so the question is, how am I going to throw my first bowl and get the second bowl the right size? Okay? I want the second bowl about an inch smaller all the way around. So when it sets inside, it drops down just a little bit. If you see, if you look at that, you see how there's a drop down, how it fits nicely on the inside. I can get it out with these. Okay. I want it about an inch shorter, an inch narrower this way, and an inch shorter that way. And I want the it, the foot, an inch smaller. So the first thing I have to do is I have to measure the foot of my first bowl, the inside of the foot. And I'm just going to drop that caliper down, just like that. And there I am, I've got my distance. Now that is where the floor of the pot meets the wall of the pot. Right there. Okay? So, I've got my trusty marking gauge here. I'm hoping you can see this. Um, I've got this marking gauge set down there. I've got one inch there. And I'm going to shrink this by, uh, I got a little clay on that just by, I, I did that very poorly because I'm sitting here. Um, it's hard to do that far away from me, but what I'm gonna do is just hold that constant, and push that in about an inch, look in there, and that's about right. Okay, so I shrunk that by an inch. Now the next thing I have to do is I have to measure where this rim is. That'll give me the height and the width. So I'm gonna take a little bit of clay and I'm going to stick it down on my wheel head right here like this. And I'm going to get a longer stick. This is a throwing gauge. You can buy these, but I just make my own out of some clay and some sticks. Um, and I'm going to get this stick and I'm going to put a little clay uh, around it right here like that. And I'm now going to put this clay Notice that I just dinged up my brim, but that's easily fixable. Like that, and I'm going to fix my rim here real quick. A 
We'll get that later. So now I come back to my marking gauge. Where did I put it? Here it is. Okay, so I need to know where the edge of this is, but if I set that stick right on there, I'll never be able to get it off. So I've got my one inch side. I'm going to set this exactly one inch away from my rim. I'm going to pull that up there and give myself one inch. There we go. One inch from that rib. Now I'm going to pop this right off the bat. And of course I didn't I don't have a screwdriver sitting here. But there we go. And notice how I can get that right off of there without messing up my rim. And we're going to come over and put another bat on the wheel. and get my clay off of the wheel head there. And I've got another piece of clay wedged up. This is about four pounds of clay. So there we go. And center just as you usually would center. a nice low center and the next thing I'm going to do then is drop my hole. Now I want to leave a hole half an inch of clay on the bottom. So I'm going to come back to my marking gauge that has a half an inch marked off on there. I'm going to poke my needle tool down to the bottom, give myself a measure and I am exactly at a half an inch. So, um, now if you remember, I measured the distance that I want the bottom of my pot to be. I measured the floor of the pot of the other one. So I'm going to grab my uh, handy lid master or caliper, whatever you want to call it. And after I've opened a little ways, I'm going to just set that on there and give myself a visual line of where I'm going to. And that right there is going to be pretty close to my my desired depth, not quite, I mean width, there. And that is it. So I've got a half an inch of clay on the bottom of this pot. So what that means is I can kind of round this down. I don't want the bottom of my bowl actually flat on the inside. I want it to have a little bit of a round. So I'm going to take a second right now and just compress that bottom and at the same time Kind of give it a nice round shape. Next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull up my walls. And my bat's not staying down too good, but that's all right. And we're going to do that and come in again. Now, I'm kind of looking at my marking gauge here. Um, I know that I want to come a little bit above my marking gauge. Now this side was one inch. I said I wanted it to be, so this was one inch away from the original pot. I said I wanted it to be two inches smaller. So I'm now going to turn over and I'm going to throw to my two inch mark. And notice how I'm a little bit taller right now. I'm a little bit taller than where that two inch mark is. Just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. When I said I'm going to come up just a little bit more, now if you recall I said the rim of a, of a, of a bowl, especially a functional bowl, should not be thin. So there's a couple of things you can do here. You can throw and leave a lot more clay at the top than I have done. Or you can do what's called roll a rim. And I really like rolled rims because when you roll the rim, they, they're very strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place my finger right there and I'm going to begin to roll this clay out over my finger. 
Now notice I'm doing this before shaping the bowl. Alright, and now I'm just going to take this clay around and keep coming around and I'm going to just tuck it right under and push it kind of up against and then I'm going to take my fingernail on my finger I'm just using the tip of my finger just just like that and I brought that rim and I've rolled it under I'm going to come back and give myself a visual on my marking gauge here and I've got to come out and I'm going to have to come up a little bit more too but that's alright so I'm going to bring my my pot out Remember how I said if you get the top right and the bottom. So the other thing I'm doing is I'm sort of pushing the, the wall of the pot to the middle of that rolled rim. Okay? So um, that'll make sense when you go to do it. So I'm looking at my measuring gauge. I've got to come out and up just a little bit. And we're just about there. And just a little bit more. That's it. So that gives me my height and my depth. Now um, I can finish off this bottom, round it out a little bit. I can wheel trim away a little bit of this clay. For my next bowl, I'm just simply now going to pull this in, adjust it to an inch, take this off, throw the next bowl, which for me would be a little, little over two pounds. Okay? That's Nesting Bulls. I'm Dave Johansson, and uh, have a great day. Bye.